Hi everyone, I'm Morgan Wells, Curator of Education here at the Tucson Museum of Art, and welcome to our virtual Second Sundays. Today we are going to make our own pinch pods, and this is going to be like a little bowl that you'll have afterwards, and what we're going to use to make it is something called Model Magic, and Model Magic is a Crayola product, and you can find this at various stores such as Target, uh, Walmart, Michaels, Hobby Lobby, any kind of place that sells Crayola products. Um, you also can buy it directly online through Amazon or through Crayola themselves. And the nice thing about this, it is a modeling clay and it has kind of an interesting texture. It's kind of foamy. You can kind of see it. It's foamy. But the really nice thing about this is it's actually mess free. So as you can see, I'm playing it with it in my hands and nothing is being left behind. It's the same thing that happens to your surface. Nothing is left behind. So this is very parent friendly for those who are looking for something to sculpt with, but it doesn't leave a mess behind. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to take a piece of our modeling clay, our model magic, and I'm just going to take a small piece. Um, also, this comes in a variety of different colors. You can get white, red, purple, wh whatever you might like. They even have kind of more natural colors, like cl actual clay colors that you can get as well. Um, but today I'm using this light blue because that's kind of what I have on hand. Um, but it doesn't matter. So anyway, so I'm going to start with this chunk of clay and I'm going to roll it on my surface until it becomes a ball. So this is kind of a great way to make your also smooth out creases in your modeling clay. Um, so I'll just make a round. You can kind of see how round that becomes and how, you know, those little creases that might happen goes away. So anytime you want to do that on your surface, it helps smooth the surface. So now that I have a round ball, I'm actually going to use my thumb and press down into it, kind of like a thumbprint, like so. And then I'm going to use my other fingers to kind of pinch the sides up. And so you're just using your fingers to pinch together like so, and you're just pulling the clay up a little bit to kind of give it a wall of some kind. But I'm also pushing it against my table so there's a flat side there, and you can use your other fingers to kind of press down in if you want, and it's just push it, pinching them to kind of create a little, a little pot, a little vessel of some kind. So as you can see, there is my little pinch pot. There's my vessel. This stuff will dry. Um, it dries. It takes about 24 to 48 hours. The longer it goes, the, the harder it gets. It still kind of has a foamy feel feeling after, after it dries. But once it dries, you can actually go back in and use any type of marker. You can use just regular washable markers or even Sharpies work if, if that's what you want to do. But I, it isn't dry yet, but I'm just going to show you what it looks like to kind of draw onto the surface. And um, it will be easier to draw on it once it dries because it's still kind of molding. But you can kind of see I made a little zigzag as, as a decoration. I'm just going to line it here and like so. So, and then afterwards, you'll have a little pinch pot that you can use uh, if you like, you know. I, when I wash my face at night, I put my rings in a little dish so you could use it that way. Or, you know, you can put it on a bookshelf or in your room just to keep your little special things inside of it. Another great cool thing about Model Magic is if you only have the color white, which I always love to get the color white just because uh, it's, it's easy to kind of create your own colors using that. So a way you do it is actually if you, I'll do it with this right here. I'm going to use it. So let's say I want this to be a darker blue. Uh, with the white, it would just be white. And you can actually, if you color a little bit on it, like so, I'm going to do both sides. And then kind of, it actually will turn it a little darker. So. 
kind of see what's happening there. And so if you just kind of knead it like that, it will actually change. And when, so when you have a white one, it actually changes it to that blue color. Um, so, so if you would like to make it a different color, you could do that. So when you have, uh, you know, you can add things to it if you like, uh, whatever. So yeah, so try this at home. Share with us what you create uh, through our social media, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for making art with me today, and I hope you all are doing well.